Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, this is a quick little update video, hopefully. And um, what we have here is my Pre Heresy Dark Angel um, Terminators, I, which I refer to as Pre Heresy Deathwing because it's quicker to say. Um, these are the Chaplain and the Librarian you've seen before. Um, as you can most likely tell, their shoulder pads are different. I originally intended to go with Dreadnought leg plates for my shoulder pads for. Um, pre heresy terminators it works very well I've seen it done and it does and like I said it works very well it does get the point across and I do have a bunch but that's changed but luckily I do have other plans for those dreadnought leg plates so that's cool um, pretty much the company called Max Mini which is the same company that put out these heads and those jump packs I showed you in that other video um, puts out what they call large shoulder pads um, and they work very well for pre heresy terminators as you can see here uh, they come in a variety of styles these are two of the styles out there and um, you get a set of leaf 10 and they're random so keep that in mind um, pretty much the resin cast like the rest of their stuff they're very well done for the shape they are and as far as being cast out of the resin which is uh, it's good, but it's the same type of resin material that you can feel if you press on it, you'll snap it in half. So you do have to take some care there. Um, I painted them up for my Prayer to Deathwing here. The only thing I have to do for the Librarian is paint his Stormbolter shoulder pad. So his right arm. Um, I have to paint that uh, shoulder pad into Midnight Blue just to further denote that he's a Librarian. But um, the Chaplain is done completely. And this is the scheme I'm going for with my army now. I always had the bulk on metal being a staple. But on the shoulder pads, now that I have trim, I'm going to paint those in bulk on metal. And that's why the chaplain is painted like that. Um, some people may not like how he looks because it, um, the bulk gun may seem to clash with the gold. But uh, I don't think so, obviously, because I did it this way. Um, I wanted to unify the army with a theme aside from being the Dark Angels being painted black uh, I wanted to unify them so so um, while the models will stand out war gear wise in this difference like he's more unique looking than a standard Terminator but uh, other than that I didn't want him to be like oh there he is um, because of the shoulder pad I wanted there to be some type of unity there if that makes any sense to anybody else but me that's really cool um, so that's pretty much it I got more of those shoulder pads to go, obviously I bought a decent amount. Um, so what I am, what I was working on that I stopped working on with this so they were making these shoulder pads um, was my first count size Belial. Now I say first because he has three different war gear options. And because of that, instead of magnetizing him like I did my post heresy Belial, um, I'm going to just make three different models. The reason for that is because these shoulder pads aren't exactly fitted to the arm. Like, not that they don't move, they can move, I would imagine. Uh, or else you'd have limited mobility. But, um, not because of that, but because, um, the arms themselves vary from Stone Bolter to Thunder Hammer to Lightning Claw. And, um, you don't have much movement in terms of posing with the magnets when the shoulder pad is itself not affixed to the arm because it wouldn't be in this case so that's why I'm just going to make three separate models um, but the first one I have in the works is all base coated except for the shoulder pads so I'm going to get to work on that relatively soon I want to finish the battle wagon um, stage the, the step I'm up to now I want to finish that step first so if I do that I'll reward myself with um, working on Belial, or one of my Belials. And once that happens, I'll actually have an HQ that I will be using to represent this army because I need him for Deathwing's troop choices. But anyways, I highly suggest checking out Max Mini for these helmets or other bits they make, these shoulder pads, those jump packs. Um, if you're not, if you're like me and you don't have the time or the ability really to make your own Terminator shoulder pads like people do, if you look on the internet, 
do a little search, you'll find a, a lot of really cool, really well done shoulder pads out there for um, these style of cataphracty like Terminator shoulder pads. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. Not that I don't know, I do understand how they did it. I just can't replicate the process because I don't have the time or the energy to to learn that, so to speak. So these shoulder pads are a great alternative because there are a variety of them. Um, the Dreadnought Lake Plates are also a good alternative. You can't, um, if you don't want to order from Max Mini because they are um, international, if you're in, especially if you're in the U.S. Um, if you happen to live in the same country as them, then huzzah. But uh, if you don't want to do that type of international order or if... Uh, you can get the Dreadnought Lake Plates a lot cheaper than these. I don't remember the exact pricing on them, but they're not overpriced. They seem to be Max Mini's bits are pretty well priced in my opinion. But um, the Dreadnought Lake Plates work in a pinch, and if you can't make your own um, shoulder pads, then uh, I would suggest going either with Max Mini shoulder pads or the Dreadnought Lake Plates. Both get the job done very well. So uh, that's my little blurb there, and um, until next time, take it easy.